Welcome back to the Talos Principle. It's just about time to continue the puzzles here, but before that I want to address a couple more things from the comments. So there's one little fun thing that I want to test, and there's one other thing that is actually quite important to the story. So let's do the fun little thing first. Somebody was wondering, with the messages that you paint, it says the version of your AI. In this case mine is Marshall version 99.115.0187. Somebody was wondering, if you die, and then you paint another message, does your version increment? And I'm really hoping it does. It, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it's actually going to affect anything, but I'm really hoping it does, because that would totally make sense. Because I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure you are basically being reconstructed when you die. So to test that, I've just written down the version that it says right here. So that version is written down, and that is the last message that I painted. So I am quite certain that I did not die in between painting that message and loading my game. And then, let's go paint another message. Well, actually, let's die, and then paint another message. Okay, so my version should be the same as it was before when I wrote that last message. Now let's kill myself. Killing myself for science. Feels good. Okay, so hopefully my version has incremented. And let's go paint a message. Hmm. None of these are particularly interesting. Uh, let's just go with frogs or people too. They totally are. Okay, what version? Let's see. Okay, so the old version was 99.115.0187. It did! It incremented! Although it incremented twice. Even though I only died once. You know, the reason for that might be the fact that I quit the game. Yeah! I think when you quit the game, it also, and you load back into the game, I think it probably reconstructs your character. So it probably incremented once for the fact that I loaded my game, and then it incremented once more because I died. <laughs> that is really cool. I figured the designers of this game wouldn't uh, omit such a little detail. Because even though it is small, it really does make sense. And those small details really add up in terms of making the world believable. Okay, so now let's address the other thing. And before I do that, let me disable this thing again so I don't hear this endless cycling. Stop! Oh. Thank God. Okay, the other thing is quite important to the story. So remember when I found that place... Um, I don't remember what level it was in. It wasn't that long ago, though. It was a place where I reconstructed the statue of the monster and it floated up and into the sky and then exploded. Remember I fell into that little glitched out hole and then Elohim was... was like a... it was like this bugged out place that was barely being kept together and then Elohim was kind of like chanting to himself and he was scared and he was talking about how the dam must not break and lots of other stuff about having to preserve himself and he doesn't want the process to end. Remember the dam must not break thing and I was I was thinking about that, and I was thinking that perhaps when he says the dam must not break, I was thinking that it could be taken figuratively, but it also might be literal. I was thinking that perhaps this computer system that I'm within is powered by hydroelectric power, and that when he's talking about the dam must not break, he's talking about an actual dam. And I was just supposing it, because I didn't actually know, but somebody told me that there's an old document that I actually have already read that addresses that, and indeed there is. It's actually from a very long time ago, so I didn't remember it. It's actually this one right here. Which, if, if I've gotten these sequentially, I suppose was within like the first fifth of the game? First fourth of the game? It's pretty far back there. Anyway, it's very illuminating. 
EL, short for Extended Lifespan, is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer. With its custom-made hardware, bomb-proof casing, and near-inexhaustible hydroelectric power supply, EL represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. So yes, this place is actually powered by hydroelectric power. Which means that when Elohim talks about the dam must not break, he probably is literally talking about an actual dam. And it extends from that that if he's talking about an actual literal dam, that means Elohim has knowledge of the real world. Think about that. Elohim knows about the outside world. How? Was he programmed with that knowledge? Or did he gain that knowledge somehow? I mean, I guess he has access to probably all the archives that I do. And the archives tell me that it's hydroelectric power. So I guess maybe he just read the archives. I don't know. So, very good to know that. Alright, let's move on to some puzzle solving, shall we? Armory. Ah, yeah, this place. Blow me up. Felt good. I wonder what happens if you die so many times that your number increments to like 999.999. Do you think it would turn over and go back to zero? You'd have to die a lot, like thousands of times for that though. It'd be pretty insane. I bet you somebody's done it though. Alright, so we have a fixed connector there, connector here, two connectors, blue power. And what is up with that? Is there something up there? Or do I just... No, I think I just need to get the box off of it. I mean, there could be something up there. But I think the main thing is just to get the box off of it. Which I could accomplish by jamming the explosive, is certainly one way. Here we go. Give me that box. Could I do something if I got up there? Ooh, wait a minute. If I got up there, I could walk all the way around there, and I could jump into this room here. Hmm. I feel like there might be an Easter egg in there. My Talos senses are tingling. How would I get on it, though? There's no way to get on that right now. Now let's just forget that until later. Take my toys in with me. It's no fun to play with yourself without toys. So ultimately I need blue power or the jammer to get in. And there's a fan. Why? Why would there be a fan? What are you for? Okay, so I only need to get in I only needed to get in here to get the jammer, so I suppose I can just take that out. Hmm. And yes, I forgot about my alternate use button. Can 
I get an angle on that? <laughs> of course you can't. See, they know this. They tested this stuff. Because you're just out of angle to hit that. And also hit that at the same time. Bastards. Mm. Anyway, let's just go here and see what's going on. Okay, that's a very... A uh, very aggressive fan. Also, it blows over a very wide radius. Alright, so I need to jam it. Which means... What the hell does that mean? Erm... Anything I can do here? Doesn't appear so. I don't need red power. Wait, is the red power powering the fan? Oh yeah, it is. So... I can't block it with the box. I don't actually want to jump in there, because then I'd just be trapped. I can block it with my body, but... I suppose I could block it with this as well. Yeah, I just need to block it temporarily, and then I can pull off the fan blade, and then I'm good. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Yoink. Okay. Now what? Oh wait, I've got an idea. It's a pretty damn good one too. I think. Wait, I keep forgetting to read this. No matter what I do, I'm always this. Always this body, this mind, this world, no way out. I think that entity was saying that before. It seems very frustrated. I feel bad for it. Wait a minute. No, this is fine. I think. Okay, so red power is stopped, although it, that's completely irrelevant now because the fan is already detached. And blue power is coming over here. Do I even need the box? I don't know, it depends. I, I'm going to try to get blue power on the other side. It might conflict with the red power or not. I'm not sure. I'm just going to assume it will, so let's just do this. that to leapfrog the connector inside. Perfect. Okay, now I'm thinking about it. how do I get up there? On top of the bomb. Assuming I even can. Without another box, I don't think I can. In fact, even if I was standing on top of the box on top of the mine, could I even jump up there? I don't know. I do feel like there's something in here, though. 
I wish I could see. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I can always come back. Let's not try to prematurely break the level. Throne room. Windows, force fields, fans, pretty much everything. And it all starts with a single connector. Ooh, hello, Star. Keep you in mind. Alright, what am I powering? Hmm, can I get both? Actually, can I get all three? Oh. I suppose it helps if I also put that one on. Bingo. Nice. Just need to get the blue power there too, and then I can reach through and get the other red power. Did that actually help me at all, though? What did that do? Oh yeah, I can get in here now. Sweet. And that just gives me access to a box. It's also a connector that's already pointing to the red. Think I can glitch over the fan? Huh? Actually, I think I can. You totally can. Is that even a glitch, or are you intended to be able to do that? Hmm. I'm gonna assume it's a glitch for a minute. Let's see what else we can do with this box. Oh, I should be able to use this to get the star, I suppose. And I could just jump right on through to get in there. Is that what you're intended to do? I don't know. But let's go get the star, shall we? And I'm just going to dump this box down there, because if I left the box up here and I fell down, then I would be trapped and I'd have to reset everything. Well, I wouldn't be trapped, but... I would have to reset everything, because I wouldn't have the box anymore. Hmm. <laughs> that was the freaking easiest star to get ever. That was nothing. Nothing! Alright, well, I could go trapezing over the top of everything, or I could just do this. Ah, oh, almost made it. What's going on in here? Okay, so if I can just get blue power to this thing, then we're good. Which I can probably do using this box. Yeah, probably just do this. 
It seems like they intend you to open this up and, I don't know, do something, but why bother when you can do this? Done. Oh, shit. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Fan. At this point, I'm genuinely curious. I just solved this puzzle, and I've been solving a lot of puzzles in ways that they... I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't intend. So here's a question. This whole game world is... supposed to be like an infinite puzzle thing meant to just kind of test AIs and allow them to the, develop their intelligence and their reasoning abilities. And the world is obviously... my that is, the, the virtual world, my virtual reality, is obviously supposed to be falling apart to some degree because these machines have been running for so long that they're just starting to glitch out. Data's becoming corrupted, and all sorts of weird things are going on. So here's what I'm wondering. The fact that I'm solving these puzzles in ways that they obviously don't intend, the fact that I'm basically breaking them, is that supposed to be an in-universe thing? Are they supposed to be easily breakable? Are they supposed to be weird? Are they supposed to contain unneeded objects that are you know, a couple extra boxes, in some cases? Just a lot more items than I actually need? Is it intended to be that way because the puzzles are supposed to be glitching out and everything's falling apart? Or are these puzzles just not very well designed by the actual designers of this game? I have no idea. Oubliet. I have no idea what that means, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Ah, we got the platform. Gotta remember exactly what you can do with platforms and recordings. It's a little bit strange. Alright, shut up. Stop. Ah. Oh. Balls. Singular, I suppose. Ball. Where am I going? What am I doing? Where's the thingy? Where do I need to go? I don't know. Where's the piece? Where's the red piece? I don't know where anything is. Alright, so that's just blue power. That's the only thing that's in here, right? And there's also a way out, which implies that there's a way in. And what's the way in? I suppose it's standing on top of the platform, right? Yeah. So that'd be my way in, but I do have to deal with the force field. Do I need a jammer for the force field? Because I don't see any color. Oh, the red piece is right there. So if I can just get steady blue power, then I'm good. But there's stuff in there. Like, what's going on in there? That's weird. Alright, let's just get up there. So. Um. I need to take a box with me. To stop that ball from moving. So. Connector can stay, I suppose. So we need to, we need to put this here, grab the platform, wait for me to get on I's platform, and then mini I goes over to where me is, and jumps on this, and then us waits for him, and then we I good.
Perfect. Thank you, me. Thank I. Oh, we just need a box. Oh, but then, wait. Shit. That doesn't help. Hmm. What does it mean? I need the platform, don't I? I need the platform to weigh this down. I'm just assuming you actually can use the platform to weigh it down. You probably can. Because even a fan blade does. Okay, so we need to do the same thing, but we need to do it twice. Right? So we put this over here. We grab the platform. We wait. Go over here. Jump up. Wait. Go back over here. Wait. Then go back. And wait. Excellent. Excelente caliente. Alright, so now I'm good to go, except that the only thing I'm missing is a box. <laughs> so I guess if I forgot to take the platform down, I'd be completely screwed, because now that I don't have the box, there's no way for me to get back up there. Okay. So if that's all I needed to do to get to get the red piece, then what the hell is this stuff? Oh, this place has two stars. I forgot about that. Okay. So... I need red power. Which doesn't exist in here, so it must come from another puzzle room. So it's gotta come from here. And what do you know, there's red power. Hello! have an angle on that? Well, there's no way in hell I have an angle on that. I need two connectors. But there's only one connector. Oh, wait! Copy! Copy, copy, copy. I'm not sure what else there is to the puzzle, but let's just do this and then see what happens. There's, there's probably more to it. Um, how does this work? 
I can connect to my copy's connector, right? Yeah, okay. Wait, where is it? Oh, I put it on the wrong side, didn't I? I did, hold on. Don't know if it makes a difference, but this should be as much to the right as possible. Well, maybe not all the way to the right, because then it's blocked by the pillar. But that should be good. Might allow me to get a better angle. That is a really, really tiny little spot to connect. Look at that. Oh my god. Um, that's still not going to work. If that's where it's going to connect to, then I need three freaking connectors. Is there something I can do through here? No. Hmm. I need this to be, like, here. How in the hell? Alright, let me try moving this over more. It's not gonna work. No way. That's not gonna do anything. This isn't gonna work. Hmm. Maybe you are intended to jump up there and like put the red power up on the the wall or something, you know? If I could supply blue power to this at the same time, I could put the other connector through here, but obviously the connector that I'm using for the red power would be used for the blue, so that's not going to work. Hmm. Alright, that one's actually hard to get. Which I like, because the other one was really, really easy to get. I think I might have to break the level for that. So I'm just going to move on to the next puzzle and then... Focus on this when I'm trying to break the level and find Easter eggs and stuff. Stables. And this couldn't give me a good angle, right? No way.
I know there's Easter eggs all around me. Just trying to stay out of my sight. They're here. I can smell them. So I could do this. I don't think that opens up anything that I want it to open up, though. Or does it? No. Okay, so for now, let's just continue to use the jammer until I've collected more connectors. Whoops. is this? Just a bunch of freestanding pillars? Weird. Alright, so once again we can use this to power this. Move the jammer in some more. Final one is the hard one. Hmm. There's an awful lot of windows. But which ones to use and how? So this thing does accept red power. So if I had another connector, I'd be good, but there isn't another connector. If I could take another connector with me and trap myself inside, that would be fine. But... I can't do that, because as soon as I cut this off, then the red power can't get in at all. Okay, so if I cut this off... No, this wouldn't even cl be close to working. So if I cut this off and then use the jammer here, I could take this connector inside with me. But then there'd be no way to open this, which means I'd be stuck here, and there's no windows for me to use here, with which to get in red power or anything like that. So that wouldn't work at all. Am I missing a connector? I don't think I am, it just feels like I am. I'm missing a connector if I want to do this the easy way, but... Obviously they've, um, specifically made it so that it's hard. That is kind of the point. Let me check something. I'm wondering if I can supply red power right there from another puzzle room. Hello. Do you see what I see?
Wait, where is it? Hmm. Shit, maybe it's not gonna work. No, I don't have an angle on it. Damn, that was really close. Right, so if I take this down, everything shuts. I feel like I need to power this in reverse. Like I need to open this from the inside or something. at all these windows of opportunities. I'm trying to look at an angle where I can hit that, and that, and that at the same time, and what do you know, there isn't one. I can only get two at one time. And it's not an accident. No freaking windows in here. Alright, I need my jammer back. Come here. Let's see what I can do with this. Now, I know there's somewhere where I can access the power. Wait, oh fuck, I need my jammer though and I can't get my jammer in. Alright, I need to put this in such a way where I can access red power from here. Oh wait, I can! I just didn't see the angle. Hello! Oh, well, my jammer's stuck there. Puts me right back where I was before. Wait a minute. No, this is... Yeah, this is actually fine. Well, I mean, I do have to change something, but... Like, I, I think I just actually figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I have this thing placed in such a way that it can hit these two. That's the primary purpose, is being able to hit those two, but I don't need to hit this one. I can just have the jammer on the inside, so powering this is completely irrelevant. So let me put it where it can hit the power, and it can hit that. And wait, I needed it to hit something else too. What was the other thing I wanted it to hit? Oh, this, right. Doink. And we're good. And I'm stuck. Alright, well that's all of the main puzzles, so the only thing left to do is break this place. So there's one star left, 
Definitely some Easter eggs, and apparently the computer wants to talk to me. But I'm going to save that stuff for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.